All right, we've learned a couple of things already before this bout gets underway. Brad Hefton hasn't lost any of his intensity, and he's got a lot of fans here in Atlanta, and uh, Tracy Thomas doesn't like the lighting in the limelight. So he takes the white shades off. He's about ready to do battle, and as you see Bill Clark, our third man in the ring between these two combatants, they are trying the uh, stare-down routine here. Truman, you've been right in the middle of this. Does this ever do any good or not? Well, yes, it does a great deal of good, especially when you're fighting an opponent uh, the caliber of Bad Brad Hefton. Bad Brad Hefton has uh, defeated a number of, of his opponents right there in the center of the ring with that stare. Well, as you heard, Bad Brad Hefton, he's patterns himself at times after Clint Eastwood. Does a pretty mean Clint Eastwood imitation, in fact, as we saw in our earlier piece. And now his corner people are about ready to turn him loose. And look at the look on his face. Hefton on the right, Tracy Thomas on the left. Seven rounds in the super heavyweights, and here we go. You know, Brad has a, an intensity that I did not see in his uh, world championship defense uh, earlier this year. Uh, this is one of the stories that was not told uh, and I guess cannot be told until we see what happens tonight. Both met in the early going. Try to warm up a little bit, I would think. And Hefton comes out with a nice round kick to the left side of Tracy Thomas midsection. Thomas at 235 pounds, as we told you. Hefton doubles up his kicks there. Hefton's at 215. Some nice right hand to the body. You know, we saw the Saba facts, and the Saba facts gave an overwhelming edge to Brad Hefton. One of the things that the Saba facts did not tell us is the, the amount of uh, intensity and heart that, uh, that was taken from Brad Hefton in that loss. Uh, we, there's no way to measure the mental uh, conditioning of a fighter, and if he conditioned himself well, which his corner has a habit of doing, uh, he will be ready for this fight. He'll be up and he'll be on his way to being a world champion again. Physically conditioning-wise, uh, he always looks strong. He is, he's always physically ready to go the distance. Brad Hefton out of Rockford, Illinois, making a comeback here tonight. And he backs away from a right-left combination of Tracy Thomas. Tracy Thomas is an interesting story, too. He's had a shot at the World Championship. He fought uh, uh, some time ago uh, the World Championship, and he lost a, a decision or was a technical knockout. And he knows that if he can stop bad Brad Hefton right now, uh, he has a chance to make his mark in the karate world. Those round kicks of Hefton's thus far have found the mark on the backside of the left back uh, portion of Tracy Thomas. Hefton continues to circle the ring to his left as we start to work our way down to the end of round one. And it's been a good and active round one between these two big fellas. Brad Hefton who connects nicely as we start to close down round one here in Atlanta. set for round two. Brad Hefton who comes immediately out of his corner with the left foot. Remember, eight kicks per round, mandatory. Eight strong kicks, right, Truman? Yes, that is correct. Uh, Tracy Thomas is putting on pressure on Brad Hefton, and I think he, uh, that is what his game plan was. He has to put pressure on him to take Brad out of his game. Remember, he's got about a 20-pound weight advantage in this fight tonight. Hefton at 215, and there is a strong kick sends Thomas back in his corner, and that gets the crowd ignited here at the limelight. That's one of Brad Hefton's trademarks. He throws his kicks with a great deal of force, and when he throws them, you know it. Tracy Thomas out of Detroit, Michigan. Had a chance against former champ Anthony Elmore. Went nine rounds, in fact, with him. It was a couple of years ago, though, and he feels like he's come a long way in those two years, and there goes the mouthpiece, and he just like he spit that one out. In a uh, preliminary bout, this fight would be stopped and the mouthpiece would be put in, and because he intentionally spit that out, there would be a penalty assessed. A warning possibly the first time and then a penalty. But the professionals are allowed to uh, operate without a mouthpiece. Round two, scheduled for seven. Thomas with a good front kick backs up Hefton a bit. There's been no clinching, and you'll see very little from these two. And if there is, Bill Clark will have them separated in a hurry. I think Thomas already has a respect for Brad Hefton's punching power and his kicking power because he's changed his game plan at this point. Uh, he's not putting the pressure that he, that he intended to put on Brad Hefton. Hefton wound up for a big right hand, and it ran right into the left hand of Thomas. Those two punches met in mid-flight. And Hefton punches his way off the ropes. Gee, the reason that Hefton was able to, to throw those, get those punches off was because the inactivity of, uh, of Tracy Thomas. Had Tracy Thomas been doing something, uh, that might not have happened. Hefton with a lead right hand that grazed 
the chin of Tracy Thomas as we... This, this, this body kick that uh, hit Tracy Thomas, that kick was set up because of Thomas's inactivity. He did not move. He's not uh, coming forward to uh, to take Hefton out of his game plan, and Hefton is doing exactly what he wants to do, we've, when he wants to do it. We've talked about Hefton's intensity, and you can see it. It's written all over his face, and he really listens to his corner people. A lot of times you'll see fighters who seem to not be paying attention during the course of the fight, but... Well, it's very John Monzak gets Brad Hefton's attention in a hurry, that's for sure. It's very difficult not to listen to John Monzak. He's about six foot five. He's even bigger than Brad <laughs> Hefton, and he stands right smack into his face. All right, here we are in round three. Truman, how would you have it scored so far through two rounds? Well, I have to give the first two rounds to Brad Hefton. The first Brad Hefton, the first two rounds were relatively even. So with the decimal uh, scoring system, it will not be as, as, as difficult as it would to uh, uh, without the decimal scoring system. But the second round, Brad Hefton carried the round all the way. Spinning back kick misses from Thomas. That's the second time he's attempted that. The previous round, he ran out of real estate over in the corner and came up short on that kick. of Tracy Thomas. You remember when when uh, Brad Hefton was fighting, uh, defending his title uh, here in Atlanta a few months ago. Uh, it was it was it was it was the activity rather of, of of Jerry Rome, the activity of Jerry Rome that took Brad Hefton out of his game plan. It was a completely different fighter here tonight, though. There was no pressure put on Brad Hefton. Brad Hefton had a renewed vigor. There's no activity for from uh, uh, no offensive activity or defensive activity from Tracy Thomas. As that kick comes forward, Tracy Thomas bends over at the waist. That's a no-no. That's a no-no in full force karate. And what he did is he took a right flush on the forehead. There's another angle. And as you can see, the top portion of Hefton's foot connected right on the button, right on the nose of Tracy Thomas, who we're happy to say is up and in his corner. And